Welcome to MiniOrange. Today we are going to see a video on how to configure social login applications for your Prestash App Store using MiniOrange social login module. Navigate to modules from left hand side menu. Select module manager option. Click on upload module. Select module file which you want to upload. Wait for a module to install. Click on configure button once the module is installed. Now you will be redirected to module home screen. Select Google application. Copy the authorized redirect URL from instructions page. Paste the authorized redirect URL in your Google developer account. Click on create button. Copy client ID. Paste the client ID on instructions page. Copy client secret. Paste the client secret on instructions page. Enter email plus profile as scope. Click on save button. Now click on test configuration button. Now you will get a notification from the app that the test configuration was successful. That means your custom app was set properly. You can enable or disable the application by switching on or off the toggle button. Enable Google application. Click on View My Shop button. Click on Sign In. Now you will see Login with Google button on Sign In page. Now users can log into your store using their Google account. The username of logged in users will be displayed here. Now we will look at the features provided by ManyRange Social Login Module. In Customize Icons feature you can select shape of your social login buttons as per your requirement. There are four shapes to choose from, round, rounded edges, square and long button. You can choose between default and custom background to display your social login buttons. You can also change the size of icons by changing the values in width, height and curve option. You can also increase or decrease the space between icons as per your requirement. You can also customize the text you want to show on your login buttons and login form. In redirect options you can redirect your users to specific page after login and logout. You can redirect your user to my account page, my store page or on any page by custom URL option after login. Similarly you can also redirect the users to login page or any other page by using the custom URL option after they log out from your store. Now we will customize our social login buttons and see if it gets reflected to our login form. We will select rounded edges button. Custom background to our login buttons. And change size of icons and space between icons. Click on save button. Now in redirect options we will enter custom URL to redirect users to that URL after login and logout.
click on Save button. On Login Form you will see Social Login buttons according to the applied customization. Now we will perform single sign on using Google to log into our store. Congratulations! We are successfully logged into our store using Google account. Thank you for watching this video.